Hi, my name is Janine and I'm from Kitzmiller RV and you are watching an open road webisode. Today we are talking about roof maintenance and we're actually going to get up on the roof and I'm going to show you what you need to maintain and how to maintain it. So let's go up there. Alright, the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that the roof is basically clean, all the big debris and yuck, you need to get as much yuck off if you, as you can. Sometimes you might want to wash it and, and let it dry, you know, before you start touching up sealants. But the biggest reason we're looking for gaps in the sealant is because obviously that lets water in and we don't want water to get in there because it gets inside the walls and it usually doesn't show up on the floor for some great period of time. If you go up there and seal the cracks before it gets into the wall, then you won't have any hidden water damage. Generally by the time that it shows up on the floor, you've already got a really big problem that you didn't know you had. So wash it, dry it, then start looking along the seams. Every place that the, the manufacturer has actually cut a hole, they're going to drop in vents and things like that and then they use sealant to seal all the way around the vents, the sewer caps, the front and rear caps, anywhere there's a molding. Those are places that are going to shrink and contract. Those areas right there are what we're focusing on. So if you look at all the places where there's sealant now, and keep in mind that the rubber roof requires a rubber roof lap sealant. Um, there's a variety of brands out there, but you want to go to your local parts department or here if you can and buy rubber roof sealant. It's very, very important. You can't just use caulk. You can't use, you know, anything from the hardware store. It has to be an RV grade rubber roof sealant. Okay? So then we're going to trace along the lines with our fingers. If we can get a fingernail into any one of the cracks or gaps, those are places that we want to seal. If we have sealant pulling away from the moldings, those are places we want to seal. And you really don't have to be careful when you lay the sealant down. You can glop it on as much as you want. It can be ugly. Nobody's going to get up there and check your work. But when you glop it on, it's actually a self-leveling lap sealant. So it's going to lay down over the cracks and it's going to actually fill in those gaps. And also, if you notice off to the side, we actually have some areas that aren't pulling away. The sealants aren't pulling away, but there's pinholes. Pinholes are, are places where the original sealant actually created an air pocket underneath and then maybe popped like a bubble. You want to seal those pinholes also, and you'll do that front to back, the whole roof. Um, give it ample dry time. You want to try and do this during the day when it's not too hot, not too cold. You want to make sure that the humidity isn't too high in the air. Um, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Michigan is a pretty good time to do it. You want to lay, you know, let it lay down and then come back up and double check it and make sure that it's, that it's tacked over before it rains. You want to give yourself maybe a 6 or 8 hour window before the next rain um, for it to, you know, to get tacky and actually seal everything out. It actually never really hardens, so, you know, be careful when you put your fingers in it because it's going to still feel goopy, but as long as it's not shiny and wet, then, then you're ready for rain. Thank you for watching our webisode. Now don't forget if you have any other questions, you can click on the contact button and email me through kitsmillerrv.com.